Good afternoon, this is Justice, Make Me Gaming, long term no see boys and girls. Been a bit of a while since I made a video, so uh, let's just jump right into things. So what have we got for you today, may you ask? Well, I have a long awaited ship that we've all wanted to see. Yes, you can guess it, it's in the title. It's the Retaliator. Look at that beauty. Look at that. We, oh, we apparently can't just drape along the edge because that makes us wobble. There we go. Look at how sexy that is. Uh, this isn't my ship. This is led to me by my friend Braxian from uh, What's Tech, the uh, Space Bears. So, can I hear a woo? Go Space Bears. So, if we uh, take a wander up to this rather fancy hangar, show you some of the flair along the way. Because, well, we all like a little bit of flair once in a while. Some of us do. There's some fish that he stole from my hangar, the bastard. Some of the posters, and that will be the desk where we'll be where he will be sexually harassing the members of our organization. So, um, looking forward to be sitting at that desk, desk, not dick, desk. <laughs> and if we take a wander down here, I'll show you the retaliator. And this thing is sexy 71 meters long, uh, 188,000 kilograms. Six person crew, five size four manned turrets. This thing is a monster. Look at fucking that. Seriously, I would sell my left nut to get me one of these. It's sexy as all hell. We will take a uh, wander on the outside of the ship. And then we'll take you inside to see what you'll want to see. The uh, the the bad boy torpedoes. Oh, look how much detail has gone into this, guys. Look, look, you looking? Go on, look harder. So much detail into the tiniest of things. Look out here. Now, I believe these engines here are supposed to uh, rotate upwards, so it's a vertical takeoff and landing ship, obviously. But the fact that these, you know, end up pointing forward when you land looks pretty sexy, gives it a very sleek design. And I believe these wings are also meant to fold out as well. But look at that, that just looks like some sort of angry, angry bomber. Now, unlike most ships, this doesn't have any drop-down cargo pod because it carries zero freight units. But then again, you know, what this does carry, more than makes up for it. What you destroy with the ship, you pretty much ain't picking up cargo. And for those of you who don't know it, you'll see why soon. Hey, look! Haha! <laughs> you get a gun on there. Hello! Like a little so much detail into a ship ah oh. not gonna lie makes me a little bit moist all right that's a lie it makes me very moist look at that look at it oh. all right now a lot of people have been wondering how the hell you get into that and a lot of people have been trying to get into there but it's not it's there which is very deceptive connie you misled us Ah, off we go. Right. I will uh, save the torpedoes for in a second. Or will I? Wait, you press forward. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you can see the torpedoes there. Now that is one giant fuck you to anything you point that bad boy at. I mean, seriously, that's, that, that's not far off the same length as, you know, the, the, the scout ships and stuff. Or the Merlin. I'll show you more of that in a second. But, first of all, chair. Chair powers, activate. Yeah, now I have the power of a chair, which is, unfortunately, isn't much. But, this chair is attached to a lot. A lot of cool. As you can see, they're uh, they're making the cockpits a lot better than the original ships you got to the cockpit before. They don't glitch all over the place. 
progression. It's wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> right. And I want to show you. Yes, this thing has two floors. Da -da -da -da. Not quite sure what these areas are, but they just look cool. I believe that's one way up into a turret, but I'm not going to lie. I don't know how to get there. That's just some little button on one of these walls. Is there? Any buttons? Hey, maybe? No. Not quite sure what this is. Perhaps it's a, a, a timeout corner. A break, maybe. But I'll show you a slower look. And the insides. See, even though this game is still very early in development, I love how much detail they're, they're putting into these ships. Fair enough, the game is still far from being done, but if this is what they've got so far, I cannot wait to see the finished result. A little bit buggy when I'm moving, do apologise. The best thing is, is all this will be interactable in the uh, PDU, I believe, which is what makes it all the more deep and complex. And quite frankly, awesome. We got this door now. Yep, that's, is that an exit? No, it's a room that I can't leave. Ah, I'm stuck. <laughs> I don't know where to go. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I know exactly where I'm going. I'm showing you guys where the, where the magic happens. That's right. No, no, not my bedroom. I'm showing you the torpedo room. Jesus Christ. You have a bunch of power brands, you know that. And here we go. Look at that. I mean, seriously, like, how much fun could you have in this room? I'm not going to lie, when I'm, when I'm playing this game, when uh, someone's working on these torpedoes, I'm opening up the hangers. I'm, I'm dropping them out just for shits and giggles. I'll pick them back up again, you know, after I taunt them for a while. But look at that. Is that three of them or two? Four, or two on each side, big bad boy missiles, torpedoes, whatever. Look at that. And there's a wonder out to here. Not quite sure what that is. Or that. See, a lot of this, because it's unfinished, um, I'm unsure what it does. As I'm sure many of you guys are. Is that another one? Uh, another one. But yeah, a lot of this I'm unsure what it does, so unfortunately, I don't know what it all is. But what I can tell you is it's sexy as all hell. Ooh. What? It's unfinished in here. Oh, more things. More things. Is that another torpedo room? I believe that it's another torpedo room. Well, look at that, guys. We can have more torpedoes. <laughs> and another door. Oh my god, this thing is huge in here. As you can tell, guys, this is my uh, first time inside the ship. And quite frankly, I'm fanboying the hell out of this thing. Quite glad you guys can't see the snail trail I'm leaving. Um, into the, into the back of the engine room. Oh, I think that's the turret below us. I think. I think that's where I am. Um, what's over there? Another one of these weird rooms. Which I don't know what these rooms are, seriously. Does anyone know? Like, seriously, tell me in the comments below because I really want to know what. Uh, your thoughts and opinions are. Honestly, no, no, stop laughing. I want to hear your opinions. <laughs> Take a quick look back in here, please. <sighs> like, seriously, if you've got a retaliator, I, I, I bet you are literally waiting, holding that joystick trigger so you can uh, fire your fire torpedo, right? Let's uh, go back down again now. Since we're here, because uh, we haven't actually, I'm going to give the ship one more quick look around and I will show you the Gladiator, because I don't believe I've shown you that one either. There we go, the turret on the front there. It's just such a good ship. I 
and as you can see in front of me and uh, behind me, this, is my, this isn't my hangar, there are far too many ships inside this thing. I got a three lights uh, MIS behind me, the militant version, because, you know, we all know firepower, don't like it. Don't like it, we all know firepower. I know I do. <laughs> And took a wander over here to the Gladiator. Because this is also a sexy little snub nose. Is that a bummer or fire? I actually don't know. I feel a bit stupid at this point. <laughs> there we go. Not much to it. Only a small little fire. But all we can see, it's, it's at this point like. They're pampering us too much with these sexy ships, seriously. Like, I'm gonna expect more and more and more and oh my god. Oh my god. I feel weird. How can I be surprised? Oh my is that how we get into this thing? Oh my god, that sick as balls. Wow. That's fucking awesome. It actually, the seat actually comes down and picks you up. That's sick. And back down we go. Are we going back down? There we go. That's a really ingenious way to get into this ship, considering its design. Wow, wait, is that a front and back? Oh my god, this. I'm thinking the back one is the turret? So the gander. Um, uh, uh, apparently it's facing me the wrong way. Nope, both seats face to the exact same point. Oh, wait, no. Oh, oh. That animation was a bit weird, but that, it, you kind of get the gist of what they're going for, right? Can I fire this thing yet? God damn it! I want to fire this thing. Oh, there we go. They've got some really ingenious ways you can get in and out of these ships, guys. Jesus Christ. Like, seriously, big round of applause to uh, Chris Roberts and the uh, team, whichever team made this. I'm not quite sure what this is. Uh, they look on the side. Not quite sure what this one's on for. I uh, put it alive. Forgot to do my research before the video. Oh, this, this, the entirety of this thing open up? Seriously, this looks like it connects like the Megazord or something. Who, who wants, no, seriously, who wants to see this thing like connected to the Megazord? Show hands. Show hands. Come on, guys. And there we go. Right, we're going to give you uh, one last sweep of the uh, retaliator and then uh, that's me for today. So from all of us here at HMG, who are admittedly quite quiet at the moment, I'm myself, Justice Gill, from Amy Gaming, see you next time.